the one-handed sword build is finally here. This has been the most requested build, and I look forward to sharing with you my one-handed speed demon build for Code Vein. The damage on this bad boy doesn't compare to the two-handed weapon, and it never will. The two-handed weapons just have more damage potential. However, that doesn't mean that a one-handed build doesn't have its own benefits. I was torn between turning this into the highest damage possible or to make it hit hard because of its speed. I ultimately decided that speed is key if you're going to be playing one-handed builds, but that also means you're much, much more squishy. This build will require some getting used to and take a little bit of skill to pull off because you have to attempt to avoid all incoming damage at least as much as you possibly can. The general idea here is we get some staple buffs for each situation. We have a few different attacks to choose from that are again, based on the situation. And other than that, you're basically a speed demon. We are taking advantage of your speed in battle to stay on top. Your dash is very, very far and very, very fast, allowing you to get behind enemies to backstab very easily. You should also have no problem getting a good chain of attacks off before backing off to avoid being hit. You'll notice that when you dodge, the movement you have is so insane that you can almost get out of range from the two-handed attacks that enemies throw at you in one roll. Imagine you're a fencer. You go in, poke, go out. Rinse, repeat, and use your abilities based on your situation. The area you see me fighting in right now is the final depths map, so these mobs are at full power, or at least close enough to show you how dangerous being hit is, and how much damage the sword is doing. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the build. I'm using the Hades class due to the high strength and dex ranks, but there are a few other classes that have very similar ranks. Feel free to use those if you don't have Hades yet. For our actives, I use Phantom Assault the most, not because it has the most damage, but because it's the easiest one to hit without being punished. It's also a great gap closer. Circulating Pulse is used to chain from Phantom Assault. I find the two work really well together, but I only use it if I think I could use the ability without being damaged back in return. Severing Abyss is strong, but hard to land. It's basically a heavy charge blast attack that hits enemies right in front of you for an insane amount of damage. If you land it, it's crazy. It's more than likely you won't though, so be careful using this one. Countermeasure is an amazing ability for this build, because as you dodge attacks, it shoots projectiles at enemies. Since you'll be doing mostly dodging, this just adds to the damage of the build. Night Fog Veil is situational. This allows you to sneak up to enemies and backstab them without being detected for a few seconds. You do have to act fast. Hasten is a way to further improve your dodges. This is mostly used for fights where you're getting hit too often due to the speed of the enemy or the range of their sword. Adrenaline is our staple damage buff. Keep that baby up at all time. Finally, it's the statuses. Keep whichever status on that you need based on the area you're in. Right now I have the flame one equipped. Now for the weapon and veil. We got Blazing Claw. I think that it's a really good one-handed sword due to the A in dexterity. It has some potential in a Mage Swordsman build too, which I'm testing out at the time of this video. You'll notice I don't have an enchant on it yet. It's more than likely I'll add the extra fire damage or higher growth stats. I was testing a lot of the one-handed swords at their base plus 10 strength to compare damage. The veal is going to be Venus Claw. The only reason this is going to be used is one, give you crazy strong drain attacks since you'll be doing back attacks most often, and two, the weight is super low on this armor. This is one of the only armors you could use in order to get the dodge speed we're after. At this point, I'm sure some of you are wondering how can I even equip it? Because normally, you shouldn't be able to equip this on Hades. Getting to that in the passives. We got the one-handed sword mastery, since we're using one-handed swords. I always try to keep the mastery passives on if I'm using a certain type of weapon. Strength dex up is another obvious pick because we're really doubling down on the attack damage here. Now, dex slash will power up is where things get a little weird. If you don't grab this, you will not have the willpower to equip the Venus Claw. There will be a red line in it. So in order to keep our fast speed that we're after, this is a mandatory grab for the build. Now for the cream of the crop. Swift Destruction. This passive is where most of our damage is coming from. It makes the entire build. It increases your damage dealt based on your mobility. The faster you are, the more damage you do. When you put all this together, you end up with a speed demon with pretty high damage for a one-handed user, but it's a double-edged blade. Although you have speed and damage, we're really sacrificing our defense for this, so I suggest you practice around with this build a bit before you go in and fight some tough bosses, or you'll likely be killed. Next up, I plan on perfecting the two-handed build I released earlier in the mid-game, as well as play around with some other battle styles. If you want me to cover a specific build, make sure you let me know in the comments so I know which builds I should work on first. 
If you haven't already seen my two-hand build, the link will be in the description. And if you need help farming all that haze, check out my playlist as well. I have a lot of different haze farming spots that you could use and abuse to your heart's content. My channel is all about helping you play longer, faster, and better so you can spend more time on the things that matter most. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future builds and code vein guides. Have fun slicing and dicing your enemies, samurai style.